So South Carolina has now held opponents to under 46 percent in all 36 games this season from the field. And they're 10 and 0 versus AP ranked opponents this season. They're looking to go three for three in national title games. They defeated UConn in 2022. And then of course they defeated Mississippi State, their first national title in 2017. So here's the path to the title game for the Gamecocks and Dawn Staley. Whooped up on Presbyterian. North Carolina, no chance. Had a scare against Indiana. They were up 22, and then things got a little tight, but they rallied. Elite eight versus Oregon State, 70 to 58. And then finally, here in the final four, they cruised 78 to 59. And now for more on just an ass whooping from South Carolina, we sit it out to our crew, Haley Sutton and Tarika Foster Brasby. And I know y'all were hella excited watching that third quarter. Man, thanks so much, Chris, for sending it out to us here in Cleveland, Ohio. You mentioned it. That third quarter was truly the difference in this one. I don't know what Don Staley said to her Gamecocks at halftime, but it led to a 29-6 to outscoring of NC State on the other side. A lot of that, though, stemming from the incredible game that was Camila Cardosa. 23 minutes and 22 points, majority of those coming from the paint, obviously. They dominated on the inside, and it was absolutely due to Camila Cardoso. Now, she did go out in that second quarter with an apparent leg or, or ankle injury, but it didn't matter at that point. She had Ashley Watkins coming right behind her on the side, and that was important for the Gamecocks. I mean, quite honestly, everything that they needed to do right in this matchup, they absolutely did. She was unstoppable on that pick and roll. She was able to get the ball in the paint, as you mentioned and nothing could stop her there. Let's talk about the rebounding game, though, for South Carolina, because when we look at the numbers, Tarika, they outscored or they out-rebounded NC State 46-34. to Ashlyn Watkins, 20 on the evening. What was working for them in terms of rebounding and especially those second-chance points? Well, one thing that they did is they didn't allow NC State at all to get any opportunity to have second-chance points, although River Baldwin did the very best that she could. She did walk away with 12 points, but one thing that I know that they did outside of only owning the glass, is they tried to make sure that no one else was going to get an opportunity to get inside. They held Sanaya Rivers to two points through three quarters, which was huge. So basically they played a complete game, <laughs> which is what we thought they would do. We did. They pulled away there in that second half. Obviously, we're working through some audio issues, so we're double micing it here. But regardless, it is South Carolina who has officially punched their ticket to the national championship game coming up on Sunday. They will, of course, face the winner of the two teams stepping on the courts right now to warm up. Iowa versus UConn. The rematch, we've talked about it all day long, Tarika, the one we have been waiting for. Let's talk about Iowa first because they're often so explosive coming into this one. They average about 92 points a game here. How can they continue that offensive prowess going into tonight's game? Well, we already know that the person that's going to continue to lead their offense is Caitlin Clark. Coming off a 41-point performance in the Elite Eight, she literally has to continue to play her game. And one thing UConn has to do is they have to understand if they're not able to contain her, it's okay. Contain everyone else, which was something that they were able to do in the in their elite, elite eight matchup. I'm getting tongue tied here because I'm so excited for this matchup. But I love the way Kate Martin was able to get available. I love the way that she basically was able to ensure that everyone got an opportunity to touch the basketball. They're going to need that tonight. Iowa is the best when they are sharing the rock. Caitlin Clark, of course, leads the nation in points per game, in assists per game. So she will be the hot topic in this one. And for UConn on the other side, Tarika, they're going to have to contain her. It's going to be difficult with a depleted roster, but what's the key to success for the Huskies tonight? One thing that the Huskies have to maintain their do is maintain their composure in allowing high volume threes. The, the biggest flaw in their defense is that they allow too many threes, and this is a team that you cannot allow the opportunity to get those shots. They're also going to have to run the ball outside of using Paige Beckers, who is their star and their leader. They're going to need to use Aaliyah Edwards. She's strong on the defensive end. She's strong in the paint, make her play. Hannah Stalky force her into some foul troubles early if she can. But if they can stick together and utilize that game plan, I think they'll be fine. They will. This one exciting, tipping off 
here in just a few minutes inside of Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. We will see Iowa. We will see UConn. Only one of them can punch their ticket to the national title game. We will see how it all unfolds. Tarika, before we send things back to Chris up in the studio, I got to know, who's your pick to win this game tonight? I feel like this is a setup because I'm surrounded by Iowa fans, and if I don't say Iowa, I might get attacked. So I'm going to go with Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes to move on to the national championship. All right, I'm going to go the opposite direction. I believe in Paige Beckers tonight, but it's going to be an incredible game. Nonetheless, Chris, we are going to go get in our seats, get ready for this exciting matchup. Winner of this one faces South Carolina in the national title game on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, ladies. Appreciate it. All right, so is this finally the year for Caitlin Clark in Iowa? Tarika said she thinks Iowa's going to get it done. 2021, they went to the Sweet 16. 2022, they got upset by Creighton in the second round. Last year, LSU just went berserk from three. Jasmine Carson was amazing in that title game. And here, 2024, they're in the Final Four again, second straight year. Will it happen, though? We'll find out in a couple of hours, baby.